Hello, this is AJ Kamikaze once again. Glad you can join me in the data collecting section of this video. This video will first cover side-by-side -side observation comparison, followed by close-up, and finally the distance test between two pen lights. These tests are mostly identical as my last video with the Hatsune Miku Expo pen lights, so I will not explain the purpose of each test. Also, keep in mind that I would use the words bright or brighter and washed out interchangeably based on the appearance of the light's intensity they give off when comparing the two pen lights. On the left of this screen is the Luminase 2 Omega, while on the right is the Kingblade X10 5. I thought I got the camera exactly centered with the tripod, but it's a little more to the left upon viewing it. By this time, it's too late as I didn't want to reshoot again the same experiment with the new batteries I just installed. Unlike the last video that included the Miko Expo pen lights, both pen lights look almost identical. The red is more like the type of red you see in safety cones that have a slight orange in it. On the video, both appear a little more on the orange side than in person. Just like the last video, blue looked identical from one another, not even by the slightest shade. This is the same case on video. When we get to white, we can see how the filters and possibly the bulbs affect the pen light's appearance. This feels like using the color temperature scale where the luminase is cool white whereas Kingblade is daylight with its blue tint color. Doing a quick reading about the Kelvin scales, you can theoretically say that the Kingblade produces a higher output than the luminase in brightness, but this is for another time, or someone else could do that experiment for me. In orange, Luminase is lighter than King Blade to almost being yellow-orange color in person. Again, the video appears differently as they look orange. Both pen lights look almost identical, but Luminase looks slightly brighter in green. Yet in the video, the King Blade shows a more white blade. Luminase looks slightly lighter than Kingblade. Matter of fact, most people might mistake this color purple for violet or light purple. If you know your colors, purple is made by combining red and blue. In this video, you can see that both are dominant with blue according to the camera sensors. I don't see much difference in regular pink especially when viewing this video as they look more like violet. I try covering my hands on each pen light to see if the camera picks up differently. Again, on the video, they are washed out. This is weird or just my eyes. Luminase is close to true yellow, whereas King Blade is slightly more towards orange tinge. The video doesn't even help me much in this determination. Again, if you know your color mixtures, yellow is made by combining red and green. In this case, you can see that the luminase is slightly towards green, whereas the king blade is slightly towards red. This in turn makes the slight orange color as red is dominant over yellow when orange is created. I'm confused with the term light green. Luminase is more towards yellow, while King Blade is closer to an actual light green, but with some light blue in it, maybe even light teal. I actually have to look up the chart and notes I've wrote just to be sure it wasn't a mistake. Luminase is more lighter in light blue than King Blade's light blue. Yet on the screen, you can barely notice the difference if it wasn't for the Luminase sticking out more in being brighter. Okay, I give up. When you think of the color violet, you think of a light purple color, right? This looks more like pink to me in person. Looking at the RGB color chart, Luminase does have some slight purple as it is slightly more blue dominant. This in comparison to the King Blade as it looks more pink due to being red dominant. Hot pink, 
I believe the real hot pink here is the King Blade, as the Luminase looks more like purplish pink or light purple. This next section is the color equivalence between the pin lights. I actually went online to look up the family lines of each color. Some of these colors even have more than one name. The Luminase's Sakura Pink is equivalent to the King Blade's Light Pink. King Blade is a regular light pink, whereas the Luminase is light pink with a tint of violet. Yet in the video, they appear more on the purple side of the color spectrum. Luminase's yellow green counterpart is the King Blade's line. Luminase is a little brighter than the King Blade. On the video, you might mistake them for just light green if it wasn't for their slight yellow hue. The pastel blue for Luminase is equivalent to the King Blade's turquoise. With the exception of the Luminase being a little brighter, they both appear the same. The last section is only Luminase's 9 remaining colors. Due to the King Blade has a default of 15 colors, the Luminase's 24 total colors. I was thinking of just having the Luminase on for the rest of the test. As I was trying to turn off the King Blade, I noticed on my phone that you get background noise on the video. After testing it other ways, I later decided to keep the King Blade on white light to somewhat balance the video quality. I just realized that I didn't describe each color of the Luminase as I just cycled the nine colors. I was getting sleepy as I was trying to wrap my head around and why I was filming these experiments at 2 a.m. in the morning. So for this sake, I'll be slowing down the video. Passion Pink could be mistaken for Hot Pink. As with Hot Pink, it displays a sort of reddish pink color. Emerald green is like a the green turquoise. On the video, I can see why it would be called emerald, as if someone has that clear green appearance. Lime green looks like the green you find on a lime, but it's lighter to teal. On the video, it looks more like teal or turquoise color towards the blue side. Apple green is greenish yellow green. Yoko yellow is a very light yellow. I actually have to look it up what is Hyoko yellow. It's Japanese for chick, so I have to assume it's based on the baby chick's light yellow feathers. I doubt it's based on the anime character from Dunkarumpa. Like all the other yellow variants observed in every video, this too appears as white light on video. Yamabuki orange was also a color I had to look up in reference to it. It's actually based on Yamabuki iro, meaning golden yellow. So with that in mind, and with the color orange, it's basically a gold color. Appearance wise, it's more like light gold color. On video, it gives this old light bulb color. Light orange looks like, well, light orange with some yellow. On video, this too also looks like an old light bulb. Peach is another shade of pink. Yet on video, it appears as violet or some sort of blue or purple color class. Ice blue looks like light blue with some gray. Yeah, in video, it appears as bright light blue. Even with another set of brand new batteries, the numbers from the last videos were not exact, but within the range on seven different colors in particular. The likely possibility is the age of the batteries and the power capacity in each battery. What I also mentioned in the last video, I noticed that, that both Luminase and King Blade drew out a lot of power that resulted in gain fluctuating readings. Just like the last video, the lexmeter readings will be in the times 10 digits. Looking at the King Blade's chart, you can see that blue is the dominant color at 137 to 521 lux followed by white and purple. The least dominant colors in the reading are orange and hot pink, tied at 64 to 153 lux, followed by pink at 60 to 177 lux. Keep in mind that there are less colors in the King Blade's 15 colors, 
compared to the Luminase's 24. Looking at the Luminase's chart, Pastel Blue, or Turquoise, is the most dominant at 132 to 930 lux, close to reading off the 10 times scale. This is followed by colors light blue and ice blue. The least dominant colors are light orange at 32 to 321 lux, red at 34 to 245 lux, and Yamabuki orange at 37 to 265 lux. It's no surprise that once again, Lumica's Luminase 2 Omega is the most dominant by landslide in overall color range, almost twice the amount as King Blades. What can we learn from this chart? We can see that the Luminase has more light intensity than the King Blade. While Luminase is dominant, there are a few colors where the King Blade overtakes and other colors such as red and blue. You could also possibly say that the King Blade is very close in colors of purple, white, and green. If we consider the ranges within the 5 lux scale, So what have we learned from these observations? Besides that the Lumica Luminase 2 Omega has come out on top once again. Well, each experiment is more on power consumption. The first three experiments were centered on how bright the pen lights are when observed at certain distances that bring into question. Can there be an accurate classification on pen light? Possibly, but not accurately. I say this in possibly two reasons. The first is likely the item itself. Are the items of the same brand and the same model have the exact consistent readings? While these are two different companies, did these companies buy their parts from the same manufacturer like the LED bulb and wiring? The other reason is battery. With the previous and current observation experiment, both used fresh battery pack about two weeks apart from the same battery brand before doing the initial readings. Could it be the age of the batteries after the manufacture date that the charge capacity began to decay? Because I use lithium batteries, would I get lower readings if I install fresh alkaline or even rechargeable batteries? If there is an idol otage person who happens to also be an actual scientist, please let us know. I was expecting the numbers I got with the experiment to be similar with the last video's experiment. Instead, some were off by a couple of degrees while others were minimal within range. Because I received different numbers from the 7 colors on this experiment, I was curious if it would produce similar results reusing the batteries from that last experiment. By comparing with the last experiment, what can we learn from this experiment? Let's look at the King Blades chart. As you can see, the majority of power levels drop on average within 10 lux or less, with the exceptions of red, blue, and purple. I'm no physicist, but I'm taking a stab on the likelihood of the significant drop on purple is due to drawing a lot of power from the colors red and blue. But I could be wrong. But the King Blade's power consumption is pale in comparison to Luminase's. While the King Blade's power consumption levels are in the single digit, Luminase's power drop range on average into the 20s and 30s. This is also taken into account that the Luminase consumes more power to begin with. Practically more than half of the available colors suffer from significant drop in power levels. This could be said the same when comparing to the colors that had increased in power. Please note that the reviews I'm doing is not a sponsorship nor am I endorsing either Lumica or Rui Fan Japan. This is AJ Kamikaze, signing out.